Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I just want to say my HD equipment is down and money is really tight, so I will not be able to use my HD equipment tonight, and the audio is going to sound uh, pretty bad, like it used to in the olden days. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but thank you so much for waiting this long and being really patient with me. College has been a nightmare, plus on top of that I have work, so thank you so much for waiting for the new videos so patiently. And I promise I'm going to get back on track with videos now, probably on Saturdays and Fridays the most. But uh, don't hold me to that because schedules may change and things may get hectic because a lot of finals are coming up in college. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and my HD equipment should be back up soon. Now, enjoy the creepypasta 23 hours. Hello, I'm the Zeke, I am 27 years old, and thank you so much for staying this far. I'm locked in my own home, no water, food, and the oxygen is being sucked out slowly. I have given up all hope of survival, so I thought I might, well, leave this story for all those who matter in my life. So here's my story, which I'd like to tell before I die. Mom, I haven't been truthful to you. I was doing drugs behind your back when I was 15 years old, and it's been getting worse ever since. I feel my withdrawal symptoms nearing, all the pain and shit like that. All I wish for you to do is to try to sell all of my drugs to make enough money to live the life you want. I'm already feeling better knowing that you'll be okay. Alice, meet Joan, my girlfriend. Joan, meet Alice, my wife. Yes, I've been cheating on both of you. I have been weak and paranoid not knowing who to love or who loves me, so I, I chose two to be safe. To tell you the truth, I love you both. But now, since I'll die, I might as well make you feel happy for my death. Think of it as a justice or karma, if you may. Mouse. Hey, bro. <laughs> or should I say the man whose life I worsened? Listen, I'm so sorry for driving you into drugs, stealing, and even going against people. I felt like I needed someone to relate to. <laughs> wow, I have one hour left. Those of you reading my story know this. These 23 hours have been hell. Not because of my death, but because of my reflection on my life. I have lived such a sinful life. I am sin, but <clears throat> I've forgiven myself and changed, although it is, it's worthless because I'm going to die, but all I want is for all of you to forgive me and to try to live a great, loving life because no one knows when your 23 hours will come. As for the man who did this, thank you. You freed, from, you freed me from my lies, self-hate. You helped me. And if you're found, I wish for you not to be arrested. <laughs> it's true what they say. Your last moments bring out the worst in you and show the best of you. Thank you. Please make your 23 hours worth reflecting in.